to check in with a company that's seen its stock roar higher of late, even in the face of an increasingly difficult stock market. I'm talking about Dexcom, DXCM, the medical device company that makes the most popular continuous glucose monitoring system, that's CGM, people call it, on the market for people with type 1 diabetes. I've been buying Dexcom for ages, originally highlighting the stock for speculation back in March of 2011, because I thought the product was a game changer, and since then it's given us a magnificent 352% gain. Oh, and it's rallied nearly 40% since we most recently spoke of this scale in August of last year. See, if you have a type 1 diabetes, that's the kind you're born with, keeping track of your blood sugar levels is incredibly important. In fact, it's a life or death issue for 1.5 million Americans with this disease. In the old days, you had to prick your finger to test your blood sugar levels, but Dexcom makes a sensor that you can just stick on your skin for a whole week. And the sensor transmits your blood sugar data to a wireless receiver. That creates a terrific razor razor blade business model, where one once you buy Dexcom's product, you need to purchase a new patch every week. Plus, the company also has a cloud-based system that lets you easily share your sensor data with, with caregivers or parents. It's revolutionary. So can Dexcom keep climbing? Why don't we check in with Terry Gray. He's the executive chairman of Dexcom. Hear more about his company and where it is headed. Mr. Gray, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Good, good to see you. Have a seat. Thank okay. you. Uh, Last time you were on, you promised me that you, we'd see some breakthrough things. I didn't think it was this breakthrough, and I want people to know why a stock goes up as much as it did. So I'm going to give you the floor to show this remarkable device, because this may be the answer for modern medicine, for, certainly for, for children, but only for all of us. Sure. So what you're seeing here is I'm wearing a sensor line. I'm porting to this receiver, which is showing 78. And By then Bluetooth by Bluetooth connection, and then what we're doing again is push notification to my iPhone, and I'm also watching myself, but in addition, because of this follower app that we developed and FDA approved, I'm also watching somebody back in San Diego. So whether you're around the corner on another continent, we can remotely monitor you real time. Right, so see. think about that for parents in particular. Oh, so, okay, so your child goes to school. Old way, new way. The old way was hopefully the school would allow somebody to come and look at their receiver. New way, parents are looking at while the parents are at work and communicate with the school to alert them to any changes in their child's glucose levels. Right, and the super old way would actually be very uh, medieval, right? At, you know? at least medieval. <laughs> at least medieval. Okay, now, this was remarkably fast-tracked by the FDA, and I don't know if people understand, but walk through how quickly the FDA decided to adopt this. Well, we got an approval for this particular application in 122 days. Normally, the regulatory statute would say somewhere around 180 days. What FDA did is they worked with us in a very collaborative way in order to achieve this. They recognized the need for this. Right. And so they worked with the company in order to achieve this in record time. Now, this device uh, will save some more steps sent on the sensor issue, right? Oh, absolutely. So if you're not approved, yet. Not, not approved yet, but this device is a new deployment system. So heretofore, our deployment system was 11 steps. Now you move to four steps, but one, bu one button pushing. So in terms, again, of administration, deployment of the system on the body, it's one-handed, it's very simple. And by the way, we take a, a huge amount of costs associated with the old system, with this new system. Uh, now, how long will it take for people who have a type 1 diabetes or, or their families to know about this? Well, we're trying to get the information out along with FDA. FDA issued their own press release on the approval. We followed with our press release. So I think that generationally, we're now in our fourth generation. We'll file our fifth generation sensor that you and I talked about mm -hmm. previously sometime this uh, first quarter. But I think that awareness is getting out there. It is unusual for one of our sales reps to actually walk in an office and not have that knowledge base and understanding of CGM. We're getting there. Is it as fast as I want? Absolutely not. But we're getting there. Uh, what kind of mode is there from uh, another company that you uh, sold a business to from uh, Medtronic? I saw last week, and they've got some real smart guys there with that Covidian. Oh, I, you know, Medtronic is a worthy competitor, and, and certainly I still know a lot of those folks. I hired many of them way back when. Uh, we respect them. I think they're trying to make a great push within the diabetes space, and, you know, competition makes us all better. All right, now, I was at, I got my annual cardiologist. Uh, to get my exam. And he said, one day we will have it so that I can see how your uh, heart and your blood pressure are doing. Uh, can this, I know you're a diabetes guy, 
But isn't this the same technology that one day my watch might be able to be synced to this and I can, and my, someone at the hospital could be watching at all times or something like that? Well, that's in the future, but it's not in the long-term future. You are absolutely correct. So if we look at even the, this down regulation or the FDA allowing the software to be yes. administered more quickly, so as an Apple Watch or any of the other utilities, a secondary display like this is a secondary display, you actually now just have to have the procedures in place. You have to validate it, verify it, but you don't have to submit it to the FDA prior to commercialization. We'll work with anybody of a third party in order to help them achieve that status as long as they adhere to the validation and verification that is so required. Well, remarkable advice. Your confidence was well warranted when you were here last time because I was very concerned. I said, oh boy, this stock, I don't know. You said, Stop worrying. You were right. All right, that's Terry Gray. He's the executive chairman of Dexcom, DXCM. Look, this is breakthrough, and breakthroughs can really help save people's lives and also help you make some money if you're a shareholder. Stick with me.